Get a better broadcast podcast and video voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart on Twitter. I'm Tweeter Stewart, T W E T E R S T E W A R T. And we've got these daily podcasts going out now uh, for, well, getting on for 150 days, consecutive days, all about how to, as the title might suggest, get a better broadcast podcast and video voice. And that's all to do with breathing and reading and intonation, pronunciation. And indeed, pronunciation is what we've been talking about out for the last few days. Today, word blindness, because we all have words with which we have blocks when it comes to how to say them. And, and this may be because of a fear maybe of pronouncing them incorrectly or looking daft or, or because you simply find them awkward to say. Now, <laughs> I'm reading ahead of time and I can see a word coming up that I'm going to give you as an example and I know I'm going to have to think very carefully about how to say it because in the first category there's where you put the stress in a word which may cause a bit of a problem for you. So, laboratory. I am always, when I see that word coming up in a script, I, I want to call it laboratory, yeah, to rhyme with lavatory. I'm always fearful of doing because that could make you look really stupid on air. Laboratory. So seriously, if I saw that word coming up, I would either change that to lab or I would underline or rewrite it so that the middle part of that word, the middle syllable, it was obvious that I had to stress that. Laboratory. I'm always fearful of, of doing it. And there's also an obvious fear of mixing up the initial bull that the initial syllable of country when you mean to say county, which could obviously, if you think about that, it could lead to all sorts of problems. You get halfway through saying one and you realise you've got to say the other and you end up saying a very rude word. And also there can be spoonerisms as well. Um, again, fit, fitting in with county and country. Spoonerisms with the title of the group, yeah, uh, the title of the group in a county in the southeast of England who used hounds to track foxes, and that was named the West Kent Hunt. And you can appreciate how difficult it is to get that correct every single time. The West Kent Hunt. And also the name of the British one-time cabinet minister, Jeremy Hunt, which also caused a few problems as well. If you go to the show notes, you'll be able to click through to some examples where on the BBC, people have mis mispronounced West Kent Hunt and also they have mispronounced that politician's name as well. So you'll be able to click through in the show notes. And also, sometimes you may just find a phrase or a word awkward to say. Now, in 2020, I found it was often a mouthful to say coronavirus restrictions. Yeah. So so I, I would often say uh, the uh, corona restrictions or the covid restrictions or coronavirus lockdown or something similar. Yeah, coronavirus restriction. I don't think I've ever tripped up over it, but it's, it is a bit of a tongue twister for me. It may be for you as well. And obviously, if you've got personal hard to say words or, or are prone to pronunciatory inaccuracies, then practice saying them every day. Warm up your voice at the same time. And some you might be particularly vulnerable to. Indeed, like the words particularly and vulnerable, which could cause you a few problems as well. Tomorrow on the show, how to say acronyms, dates, numbers and scores as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice continues. We score every time with helping you be a better presenter on mic. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. Peter Stewart.